Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So today's video is going to be a little Bath and Body Works haul. It's just a few things that I picked up during the 650 body care sale. And then I also picked up a few candles because they were also $10 off. So if you are excited to see what I got, then just keep watching. So I think I'm actually gonna go for the candles first just because I'm like the most excited about these two. So I picked up two three wick candles and they were $10 off, so they were $14.50. I picked up the Perfect Christmas. I'm sure we've seen this beautiful packaging all over Instagram, but I'll just give you a little overview. It has like reflective red deer pulling Santa sleigh. <laughs> so the perfect Christmas is fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallows with essential oils. So I thought that this was like a very odd combination of scents, like you have pine tree, cinnamon, and marshmallow, but it's actually really, really good. And it smells, oh, it's so good. It really smells like Christmas. It smells like in Hobby Lobby and in like Joann's and stuff when they have that like blend of, of um, pine cones, like the holiday pine cones. Oh, it smells so, so good. So it's like slightly sweet, but it also has the pine. So it's like not completely just a sweet gourmand scent. It has like that little touch of the pine, which makes it fresh. So I don't know. I think this is going to be really perfect for December and to get me in that that cozy Christmas mood and I'll watch it while watching like the Santa Claus or something like it just it's like a beautiful beautiful scent for Christmas time so I definitely recommend this scent if even if you like I mostly like only gourmand scents but even if you're only for that like this one is a really good blend of a couple of different types of scents so I feel like you'll still like it anyways so that is the first candle I got and the second candle has been taking uh, Instagram and the candle community by storm. This is peppermint sugar cookie. How beautiful is this packaging? I do hate that it stops right here, that it's only a sticker, but you know, it's okay. And then we have this like light mint wax on it. It's like very, very light. It almost looks white, but like you can tell compared to my shirt, it's like a little bit mint. Um, um wait, let me tell you the, let me tell you the, uh, scent notes before I talk about the candle. <laughs> so it is crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. This smells so good. I'm not lying. It smells so, so, so good. I really get that buttery note. It's so funny because I've never really smelled a candle that had that buttery touch to it. Besides maybe um, frosted sugar cookie, that one I think does have a good butter scent to it, but Oh, it smells so good and it definitely smells like peppermint and not like candy canes or anything because I've had crushed candy cane before and it doesn't really smell like this peppermint smells. Oh, it's like refreshing. It's almost opening up my sinuses the more I'm smelling it, but um, it's so nice. It's like a minty gourmand and I, I feel like this is like the perfect winter scent too. Like it's it's pepperminty, but it's also like bakery, and I feel like it's just such a good combination of both of those two. You guys will have to let me know down below if this is a new scent and it's never come out before because I've never seen it before, but I've only been following Bath & Body Works for the past couple of years, so maybe it is an older scent that's come back, but man. So I'm very, very, very excited to burn these two candles. I think I'm gonna get through a couple more fall candles first and then we'll get to these two. But yeah, very happy to have picked those two up. And then like a random little thing that I got is this car fragrance refill in Twisted Peppermint. Um, I just bought one because I don't really need a bunch and um, these hardly are ever on sale. I missed it whenever they were on sale last time, but that was with the fall fragrances. So um, I just picked up one in Twisted Peppermint and it's because Tina Marie kept saying like, oh, can you imagine your car smelling like peppermint when you walk in during December? And I was like, Tina Marie, you're onto something. I'm gonna buy it. So I just bought one and I'll replace this in December so I can have my car smelling like beautiful, beautiful peppermints. So that will be amazing. And then let's move on to all the body care that I got. So again, this was the 650 sale. 
and I feel like I got the most bang for my buck with this body scrub. So I only picked up one. I really didn't want to go too crazy during this sale because I do already have a lot of stuff anyways. I do already have one sugar or no one um, body scrub. So I just picked up one one more body scrubs. So no, I have two in Vanilla Bean Noel and this is the whipped confetti body scrub. So I had the whipped confetti one last year too and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. I had it in Vanilla Bean Noel, the exact same thing. And I just got it again and it smells like Vanilla Bean Noel. It smells so good. And Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite Christmas scent of all time. So I just had to have it. I knew that I would love it. I didn't really want it in the other scents. Um, I didn't want to scrub in the other scents, but I knew that I wanted to pick up a scrub because they are like never on sale. So I got this for a good price. They are regularly, um, $16.50 so I got this for $10 off so that was really good and then I picked up two different online exclusives and they are both in the scent gingerbread latte so this is the fragrance mist I'll just show you guys the beautiful sparkly packaging it is the same packaging that is on um, Christmas cookies Vanilla be Noel uh, winter candy apple and I think snowy peach berry um, the fragrance notes are Santa's gingerbread, frosted pear, and brown sugar. It says warm up with a spice Christmas favorite. It's pure comfort and joy. So I'm going to spray this into the cap. I wore this yesterday actually just to like test it out and see what I thought. How it like wore on my body. It smells really really good. I have to say I don't think it smells exactly like gingerbread because I'm really not getting any spice or like molasses or cinnamon like I'm really not getting any spices in here but it's like it is definitely that um, frosted pear and brown sugar and then like an aftertaste of gingerbread if that makes sense so I feel like the biggest thing that I get in here is um, brown sugar so it is very like sugary and sweet and then I get slight little hint of hair and then kind of like an afterthought is the gingerbread. So I will say it's not necessarily like completely gingerbread scent, but it still is really good. And I hadn't picked this up when it was out last year and I definitely regretted it. So I picked it up for $6.50. And then I also picked it up in the shower gel. So here is the packaging on the shower gel, super cute. I thought this was really cool with like, it's I guess supposed to be a snow globe right here. And it just looks really pretty in the light. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh. Um, this has the exact same notes, um, and I used this in the shower yesterday too. And this one for sure has a lot more of the pear note um, than the fragrance mist. Like, I don't know why they put pear in a gingerbread latte. Like, I feel like they should have put gingerbread in coffee if it's gonna be a latte scent, but I don't smell any sort of coffee in either one of these but yeah the shower gel definitely has more of the pear scent um and brown sugar and really no gingerbread at all um well actually there's like a little there's the aftertaste <laughs> there's the aftertaste again so i would say these two are pretty similar they're like almost the exact same um they are the exact same scent um you know how sometimes in different formulas there are different scents like you can find different parts of the scent more, but these are pretty much exact same, um, except that the shower gel has a little bit more of the pear scent. So yeah, I'm very excited to have picked this up just because I've never had the gingerbread latte scent before. I think they should rename this though. I don't know what to, but like something about brown sugar and pears, like maybe pear pie, pear something. I don't know. I don't know what what stuff you make with brown sugar and pears, but I'm sure they could rename this to something else and it would be just as popular, but I feel like they just did the latte scent because they didn't know what else to do, kind of like marshmallow pumpkin latte. Um, so yeah, but I'm very happy to have this scent. And again, these two candles, oh, I'm so excited to burn these two. They're gonna be so yummy smelling, so. Anyways, let me know down below if you guys picked up anything during the 650 sale and if you are waiting now to buy your candles until candle day. I think these two are my last three wet candles that I'm going to buy before candle day because 
I have a lot that I want to pick up during candle day and I also have a lot of fall things that I need to get through in the next month. So I'm hoping I can get through more fall candles during November and then I can go crazy at candle day. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.